And New Guinea is looking to invest in replacing its aircrafts with the latest state-of-the-art technology, enhanced fuel efficiency and additional safety features to serve the domestic and regional network. On this note, Embraer was invited to Port Mosby for a demonstration flight to display what they have on offer. And New Guinea CEO Bruce Alabasta highlighted that this is a step forward. The Embraer is well known to this region. There's a solid presence in Air Caribas with Alliance Airlines in Australia, Air North and Cobham. So it already has a solid footprint. And for Air New Guinea, this will be a quantum step forward as we get through this process. The Embraer is one of a number of aircraft in the regional jet category that we're looking at, and that process is ongoing. But it will be equivalent to Air New Guinea from when Air New Guinea moved from the turboprop Fokker Friendship to the F-28 jet aircraft. It is a quantum step forward. Embraer being the third largest aircraft manufacturer with a history of having designed, developed, and manufactured 21 different types of aircraft is one option Air New Guinea is looking at. The Vice President of the Asia-Pacific Embraer Commercial Aviation, Raul Villaron, did a brief summary of what they have on offer. Lighter aircraft, so by being lighter, it has a lower fuel burn than the competitors by 10%. It has also lower uh, navigation costs. It has also lower maintenance cost because it's a lighter aircraft. So our competitor has the same engine, but it's a heavier aircraft. So it burns more, it needs more trust on the engine, right? So it increases the maintenance cost. The other thing is that we are very competitive in terms of uh, the financial solution as well. And we, uh, we also have uh, our Brazilian Development Bank supporting the transaction, which makes the, the deal uh, very attractive. The E195E2 is one of a number of aircraft options and New Guinea is considering as a potential replacement for the Fokker fleet. The 45 minutes demonstration flight carried any New Guinea executives and staff, including the Civil Aviation Minister Walter Schnobelt. And New Guinea is looking at long-term fleet solutions and Embraer is one of the options they have. It is a 53-year-old aircraft manufacturing company. It did a demo flight today at the Port Mosby Jackson's International Airport. Florence John Duo, National MTV News.